I have uh, something I want to trade. I'm going to use somewhat coded language so the uh, algorithm doesn't pick up on what I'm talking about. I have uh, a lever operated Glenfield 39A3030 that I want to trade for a Mossy 500 410. If anybody near me is willing to uh, trade. And the reason I have an extreme raccoon problem. And the one I'm wanting to trade, I don't really have a need for. And the one I need, I don't have. So uh, we have tried everything to get these raccoons to move back out into the woods. And I'm left with no other alternative but raccoon eradication. And, uh, you know, I have a 20 and a 12, but those are just overkill, especially the fact that I'm going to have to do this in the wee hours or late, late at night. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, pellets from that one I'm talking about that I need only go, you know, 50 75 yards at best and they're only accurate at most about 25 yards so there we go and uh because of my medical addition to the family which is right here i have to carry spare parts <laughs> uh and it's not a question of if an emergency or a catastrophe may happen to your spare parts, your colostomy. It's a question of uh, when. So uh, I have to carry a spare bag with me and all the various accoutrement that you use to uh, clean and reapply, including, you know, extra pair of shorts and whatnot. And I was carrying it in this bag temporarily because this is just too military looking and I didn't want to you know I didn't want to arouse any suspicions so I ordered a fanny pack right it turns out the fanny pack is just as tactical looking so what the hell I'm just gonna roll with it I got everything I need in here and uh And that was my main purpose because uh, I can't wear a belt. And uh, summertime, I don't like wearing bib overalls in summertime. I used to put that in my back pocket. But now that I have to carry so much other stuff with me, it's all it's all in here. I decided to put my uh, pea shooter in this bag also because I'm going to have to carry it with me all the time. The reason I have to carry it, even inside the Walmart or doctor's offices because you can't let this uh, get hot like in a car because uh, it's a waxed based adhesive on the back of it and uh, it'll melt if it gets too hot so what all right we're going in a minute okay so that's that I'm gonna be carrying this I did cinch this I'm not gonna be wearing it as a fanny pack I'm just gonna be carrying it around and now, now we're going to go down to the shop, make a couple of sheaths, and uh, I'll have two sheaths by the end of the day, and I'll probably be able to ship these Friday. And then I'm going to get back to work. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday, and it's going to be an in-town day again. Which is kind of good, because uh, I have to go to Tandy Leather over in Bossier City. Because I broke a, a tooth off of my uh, four-finger lacing uh, stitching fork. It's what you hammer, hammer the holes into the leather to sew through. And I broke a tooth off, and, uh, and it's right in the middle instead of on the end, or I could just live with it. So i got to get a new uh, stitching fork at Tandy Leather. That's all I need, I swear. Would, and that's, I, I'm joking because my wife won't let me go into the dollar store because for some reason I come out of there with $30, $40 worth of stuff that I don't really need because it's all the dollar. 
in your brain, it's okay, it's only a dollar. And uh, I used to hold stuff up and ask my wife, how much is this? In the dollar store. The Dollar Tree, I'm talking about the Dollar Tree, not the dollar store. And I know everything's, you know, a dollar fifty or more in the Dollar Tree now. So anyway, that's enough talking. Uh, let's go to my shop, crank up the air conditioner, get some leather out, and make some sheaths. See you there. All right, I got them both cut out. Well, I got one cut out, and the other one started over here. And uh, I'm going to make them as identical as I can. We're going with a saddle tan and a medium brown fade. So let me get this. Uh, <clears throat> let me get this dyed. All right, there's one. I still got to dress the edges with some beeswax, but uh, let's make the other one look just like this. And here it is. Let me get that sewed up, and uh, I'll try to make it look exactly like that. All right, got the edges dressed. My fade's on. Now, I gotta go to the other shop and put the edges on these. And uh, these are ready to get shipped. All right, got them sharp and uh, we're finished. I have a BC Special, two sharp fingers, actually three. I'm working on the third one over here. This one is going to be super duper mirror polished with presentation grade desert ironwood. And these are going to their new owners. All right, let's see, today's uh, Wednesday. So uh, tomorrow is gonna be another freaking in-town day. I got rid of two doctors now. The home health nurse, I dismissed her. And uh, the wound care people said I was doing so good they didn't need to see me anymore. So there's two medical people out of my life that I don't gotta give up a whole day to. And I got two more doctors. And uh, one of them's a surgeon, so I can't get shit of him. And, uh, you know, it'd probably be a few more months before he completely releases me back to normal life. And he'll probably give me the option of getting uh, reconnected or not. You know, they'll have to go in and look with a scope. I don't know how they do that. I don't know if they go in through this or, or in through the other way. I do not know. And uh, I'm not certain that I am going to be reconnected because I've got so many problems with what's left of my colon that if I do get reconnected and then I ended up going through the same freaking, you know, two or three years of sick before they finally do something about it, I might just stick with what I got here, a colostomy bag. It's not so terrible. I'm learning to deal with it and, uh, you know, I'd rather deal with the colostomy bag than ever go back to feeling as bad as I did. So I may be uh, just stuck with this. And compared to how bad I felt, I don't even consider it stuck. I just consider it a blessing because uh, the choice is feel bad for like I did for the last two or three years or walk around with the rest of my life with a bag of poop hanging off my belly. I choose the bag of poop hanging off my belly because uh, I thought I was going to die and then Towards the end there, I was hoping I would die. All right, have a good Thursday, y'all. Hello, you tiny little alligator. <laughs> the dogs just came out. <laughs> Thank you.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should we do it? So we can get it in the film.